If you are looking for conversion rates in GA4, also known as key event rates, you will have to do some customization. And in this video, I will show you all the steps. First of all, you need to keep in mind that Google Analytics has renamed conversions to key events. Therefore, instead of looking for conversion rate, you should be looking for key event rate. Speaking of key events, they are displayed, for example, in the traffic acquisition report. If you go there, one of the columns will be those events that have been marked as key events. However, by default, key event rate is not visible in standard reports. If you want to see it, you have to customize the report. So let's say that we want to add the key event rate to our traffic acquisition report. Here you will need to have enough permissions to see this customize report icon. Click it, and then here click metrics, and then keep looking for key event rate. And here you have session key event rate and user key event rate. If you want to learn more about how these two metrics are calculated and what are the differences, then I will post a link to another tutorial below this video. In this context, I will be using session key event rate. So I can click it, then I can drag it closer to key events, click apply, then save and save changes to the current report. Click save. Now I can go back. And here I will see that one of my columns is now showing session key event rate. So this is your conversion rate that you have in Google Analytics 4. If you want to see the conversion rate in Explore section, things get more complicated. Let's take a look. Let's go to Explore, click blank, and then let's add dimensions with metrics. I will click the plus in the dimensions section and let's say that I will select session source medium. Click the checkbox, click import, and then metrics. Let's say that I want to see the number of total users, then sessions, and then let's say key events and session key event rate and click import. Now I will double click everything to add them to the report. And here, this metric is calculated by taking all your different key events into account. So if you have five different events marked as key events, then this conversion rate looks at all of them. But what if you want to see the key event rate just of a particular event, for example, just purchase? Probably you would guess that maybe you can add a filter where you include the event name, which is equal to purchase. Let's take a look. Let's add one more dimension, which is event name. And then I will click here to add a filter. We will create a filter based on the event name. And then event name exactly matches purchase. If you click apply, there will be one problem. It will show you 100% of session key event rate. Because right now this exploration is using only purchase events, which means that out of sessions that have the purchase event, all of them had the conversion or the key event. That's why we see 100% everywhere, because we are now including only those sessions, or actually only those events where the purchase happened. We are excluding all other sessions that did not have the purchase. So how can we fix this? Well, our exploration should include some other events as well, which are not related to purchase, but which are very common in other sessions. An example here could be a session start because all sessions should include a session start. And obviously session start event is not marked as a key event. At least I hope so. So instead of looking just at one event, we could be looking at two events, session start or purchase. That way we will include all sessions because all sessions, or at least most of them have the session start event. And then some of those sessions will have purchase. Therefore our calculations will be more correct. So instead of looking just for the purchase, we should switch to matches regex and then add a pipe and session start. Click apply. And now this report shows the conversion rate of purchase event. And this report shows all sessions. For example, we see that none of the sessions coming from LinkedIn.com ended with a purchase. Therefore, we have the 0%. But if on the other hand, you want to have a couple of columns where one session key event rate is for the purchase, the other one is for the, some form submission, maybe something else. Unfortunately, right now, when I'm recording this video, this is not possible in explorations. Maybe this will change in the future, but right now it is what it is. And that's how you can see key event rate in Google Analytics 4. 
If you found this video useful, hit the like button below the video. That will help me understand what videos do you like and what should I create in the future. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or Google Analytics 4, then subscribe to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.